Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. Today we're going to be looking at another optimizing uh, workflow tutorial called Batch Processing in Photoshop. Um, I'll also show you at the same time in another video underneath this one how to do this simply in Lightroom. Actually, you know what? I'll include it in this video as well. Why not? All right, so the first thing we need to do before we create a batch is to create an action. Now, if you haven't seen my tutorial on creating an action, you can go ahead and have a look at that. But I'll do one very quickly here. So let me just create a new action. Let me just call it uh, color. And then we'll go into image, adjustment, hue saturation. Let's change the hue. Make it some nice purpley. That's good for me. Um, then we want to let's add a, a border to this. Go into pixels. We'll add a 50 pixel border on each side, so that'll be a hundred increase here on width and height. Okay. There we go. And next image size, because we want to send that on the web. Let's say um, 600. And there we go. Now, what's important for batches, if you don't want to be clicking on uh, OK for saving, for saving on every single image, you want to add the uh, Save As in your action. So go into Save As. It doesn't matter where you save it on your computer. It really doesn't. Um, let me just uh, here put it on my desktop for now. And click Save. And this is the dialog box that would appear every, on every single image if you didn't add the saved uh, it within your action, and you'd be clicking OK, 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 OK all the time. So uh, we're doing it; as we're just incorporating it into the action for now. All right, click stop. We can close this image, and now time for batching. What you need to do is go into File, Automate, Batch. And up here we have the action uh, that the last action you actually did will show up by default here on the play dialog box. After that, choose your source folder, which I've already done, which is action. And then choose your destination folder, which I've created under the actions folder already called color shift. If you want to create a folder, you can just click on Action, Make New Folder, and rename it the way you want. So let me just select Color Shift here. And uh, the next thing we want to click is this button here, Override Action Save As Command, because we we've already put a Save As within um, our action, so we don't need to redo another one. So here you can see we have the document name. And I've added a one-digit serial number. There's a, a whole dialog of things. You can add dates uh, within your files and et cetera. Actually, let me just remove this. Uh, I'll remove this as well. And just put the, the exact same file name, and, and it has to end with an extension. Uh, it gives you an example here, .gif. These will be .jpegs. You have to have as your last um, uh, data here the extension. And then all you need to do is click OK. And you'll see it go through the steps right here. Now, I only have four or five images in there, so this shouldn't take too long. I think one more is to go. And as you can see, it's pretty quick, and it saves you tons of time. Now, let's go see if they're there. Ah, I can see it in there. If I double click on them, there they are with a nice purple hue. The same file name with the extension. Everything's perfect. And that's how you would create a simple batch process in Photoshop. Now let's go see what happens if we do this in Lightroom. Is it faster or not? Let's go have a look. Let's open up Lightroom. I have practically the same images here. Now let me modify the colors here. I'm down here in my hue. And I'll take the blues and put them purple like in the other ones. That's good. And then what I can do down here, 
is holding the shift key, I'm selecting all my images, and this button name changes from preset to, actually not, uh, sorry, it changes from previous to sync. If you click on that, it tells you what you want to sync. Now, if we can, since we've only done one modification to this image, uh, basically, it'll apply only that modification. But if we added noise reduction, sharpening, um, if we've added some uh, some contrast, some brightness, uh, even some spot removal, it'll do all that. You can either uncheck them all, check none, check all, or go manually and do them all. And then all you need to do is click synchronize, and you can see the thumbnails below here will start changing color. Maybe not in the same order, but they'll all change. And then all you need to do after that is to go into your library, export, choose your folder, destination folder here. It can be any folder you want to create. Let's say I choose desktop. OK. Put in subfolder. Let's call it color. File name, that's what we want. We want this to be JPEG. We want to resize this. And I think it was uh, 600 pixels that I chose. Uh, we want the resolution to be at 72 for web. And we'll keep the quality at 100%. And click on Export. And you'll see on the toolbar up here, uh, the dialog box. You'll see the progress bar, sorry, that'll go up until it's completely done. All right, so that's done. Now if we look at our uh, color folder, for some reason now uh, having Photoshop, Lightroom, and Camtasia open, and my computer being open all day, it's a little bit slow now. I need to reboot, I guess. Here are all the images that we just exported from Lightroom in, on the desktop. So they're all there. So up to you to decide which one's faster and more efficient, either Lightroom or Photoshop. Either way, you can do both in these wonderful softwares. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on batch processing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.